the last time we faced off against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, middle linebacker Levante Davis intercepted us in the overtime to take it back for a pick six and win the game. Now it's time for the Carolina Panthers to get some revenge against the Tampa Bay Bucks. Man, we, were, we weren't expecting to win that game. We were in it and made some dumb plays down the stretch. And that's given this team a lot of confidence to say, maybe we can come in and get the W against this Buccaneer, Buccaneer team uh, in this week. And the funny thing is, as much as we think our playoff prospects are pretty much done, they may not be. Tampa Bay is not out of the playoffs or not in the playoffs. They are uh, they are struggling to get in. If we can beat this team and beat the Saints next week, there may be a chance for us to squeak into the playoff conversation. So this is kind of a big game for us in a lot of ways to face off against this rival team. And this game starts the same way last game did, maybe. And it does. Oh. Calais throws the kicker off of him, but he doesn't get all the way in for the touchdown. Big return by Calais, and it looked just like it did last week. Only the Tampa Bay Bucks were able to recover a little bit better. But what a big play to get this game started um, by the special teams. And the backup running back is there. Bryce Young comes out, had a decent game last game through two really silly interceptions. But other than that, had a pretty strong game. 29 touchdowns over the day is likely going to get over 4,000 yards uh, passing for this season, which is saying something for a rookie campaign. So I was excited about that. And I'm curious to see who is going to be the main target today. We've had games where Thielen was the guy. We've had games where, um, where uh, Mingo was the guy. And I'm not sure why... The set while Williams is in the game where he is, but we don't want that, so we're gonna put Mingo there. Because I would like to keep Mingo in the game here. All right, but we're gonna come out trying to pass first. Throw us to, to Chark underneath. Chark gets about six yards on the reception. DJ with a nice play. We got Thielen and Mingo on the field. Maybe to get Thielen. If the Throwing up. Thielen with the catch. And a nice play by Bryce to find him on the post pattern. Thielen starts the game with a 20-yard reception. And he has been a, a constant... presence on this offense really since day one black shear has some room up the middle gets about three yards on the play second and seven on the 14 now we're looking for something here slant routes intercepted intercepted rock yasin with the interception Bryce Young does not open the game strong. Throws an interception on the slant route. And they played an excellent, an excellent zone coverage. The perfect play call against, against uh, that offense. All right, so we got Matt Ryan, if I'm not mistaken, as the quarterback for Tampa Bay. Matt Ryan's got almost 5,000 yards, 44 touchdowns on the year and uh, clearly had a much better year than Bryce. Let's hope that today will be exception. Oh, we missed him. Matt Ryan somehow squares free and throws the ball away. Time, I think we're gonna play with the linebacker. Matt Ryan hits the tight end over the on the little drag route, and it's third and four. I have to watch out for this running back. 
Hopefully, hopefully Edmonds is there. Okay, they don't run it. And they allow the catch. Number 26, Bale's got to do better than that. He was there. Chris Scott was a solid receiver, but we were there to make that play. We could have could have played the ball. Oh no! Took the guy. Did I take? The, I take him away from him. I may have took took the defender away. All right, we gotta get it together here. Tampa Bay moving down the field nicely. Matt Ryan looking. Hits his tight end, but only gets three yards on that play. So now we've got. Second and seven on the 12 yard line. Another pass. Ryan Godwin with the catch and it's third and two on the seven. Big play. Big play for Panthers to try to figure out how to make this stop and just give up the field goal in this scenario. Not gonna run it. The pass is off, and the JC Horn completely leaves his guy. It looked like JC could have made a play on the ball and gotten an interception. I'm not controlling him. I'm not sure where he's going. But he leaves the defender, so he's there with him. Oh. So the move is he stepped in. Wow, that's a nice man, that's a nice move. I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to happen, but watch this step in. That may, that makes JC go to the left, and then he just comes back right, and he's wide open. I mean, I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that move. Again, I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to go, but nice play. And it's a nice throw. Okay, so Tampa Bay 7-0. We're here in Tampa Bay. We can't play around. This defense is opportunistic. We've got to on the back stays up for a little bit, but gets to the 21. All right, Bryce, can't play around with the ball here. This is a, this is a stout D. Got great players everywhere. Good run. Blackshear with some space. He gets 17 overall on two carries. First down and 10. Blackshear with the catch, and that's another first down, I believe. First and 10. Come back to the run here. Woo, the block is there, but just a second. It's one yard gain. Second and nine. Looking for Chark for the first down. Just beyond the logo. Won't get him. We'll get Thielen. Third and one. Two minutes left in the first quarter. Oh my goodness, and we don't get it. Fourth and two. And Levante David is there. And we're gonna we're gonna go for this. We are going to go for this. Two yards, that's all we need. Come on, ladies. We need a little bit of a push. Fourth and two. It's kind of a big, important play here. We don't want to get down too much. And he does not get it. Push to the right should have went a little bit to the left on that play. 
And um, it feels like if I'd have gone a little left, yeah, I went right here. If I'd have gone left, I think we'd have gotten it. But the play wasn't that direction. The play was to the right. And uh, so we need we need the defense to come through here. Once again, Van Der Esch is there, but they still make the catch. Tampa Bay's, Tampa Bay's excited, man. They are playing in this game. Second and three. Nice run up the middle, and they get the first down. Leonard Fournette with the with the play. First and ten on the 44-yard line. Tampa Bay looking to. Get a score. That's the end of the first quarter. Look in the score here and uh, push this lead to a two, two score lead. Score seven to zero at the moment. Quarter now in Tampa Bay. It's the Buccaneers in control of the football. As they've got it with a first and ten. Here's Ryan. There is a nice play. Nice, and I don't know who uh, Barno is and why he's in the game, but he does get to the quarterback and gets a sack. Who is who is Barno? But okay, we'll take it. Second and 21. They've been throwing the ball short. Barnett gets a big gain up the middle on second and 21. 16 yards makes it pretty much third and short with third and five. Ah, oh, man. That was a... Uh, that was not the sort of thing we needed. Oh, my gosh. Another play. This, oh, fumble. This is what we need. Let's go. Oh, man, it's the play that we needed. It was not looking good. The tight end gets the catch and runs up the field. Quarterback missed it. Who is this? Number 20. I think that might have been uh, Xavier Woods with the, uh, with the big hit that caused the fumble. All right, so first and 10, 7-0. Again, it's the kind of play that you needed. And we come out and we lose a yard on the run. Having a hard time against this defense right now. What's going to be the move? Going deep. Thielen. Thielen with the catch. Let's go. Adam Thielen said he's ready. Good throw by Bryce. And he just jumps up and gets the catch. That's a great play by Adam Thielen. Another play right there. Second in inches. Oh my gosh, why does he do it? Why does he lead him so much? And that time it's not my fault. Quarterback just led the led the ball way too much. And there's Levante David, I believe that's Levante David, haunting us with another interception. And he just overled the receiver. Gave the defender a chance to make the play. Gave the defender a chance to make the play. We we, we he's open now. I throw it. I throw it. Look where he is versus where he's going. That's just not the play. Mm, 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 mm. Set to begin their next well, possession. they start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and ten. And he is Defense does finally show up. Tackle there by Leighton Van Der Esch. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. 
Another fumble. Big play. JC Horn trying to get free. What a play by the defense. Is that Xavier Woods the second time? Let's take a look at this play here. Throws over the middle. Bing. I think that is Xavier Woods with his second forced fumble on a big hit. Wow. 7-0, to this defense has decided they want to play today. Can the offense get anything going? Big man gets breaks the tackle, gets about four yards on the play. What an exciting, exciting game so far. Lots happening. Do not fumble it. And we're this little play right here is barely getting us yardage. They're gonna they're gonna jump that play very soon. We're not gonna keep going to it. Uh, uh, we're, we're gonna see if we can get Thielen here. Mingo with the catch, and he gets the first down. Oh no. It was first down on the last play. So he gets eight yards on that play. Second and two with three minutes and a half left in the first half. Lock. Blackshear has space. Can he keep going? Oh, he breaks the one tackle, but could not keep going. Gets, gets a huge gain on that. Gets to the 34-yard line. Nice run by their young running back. Whew. We did. We did. He needed to use the run. Commentator says we needed to use the ground game to take the pressure off, and I agree. I do agree. There's Hurst, and he's got the catch, and now we're cooking with grass with gas. We've got first and ten on the 16 yard line. This is where it's been a little tough. Running up the middle is what we hope to do. Blackshear stays on his feet. And he's got seven on that carry. It's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three. It's a two minute warning. I think we, uh, I, I really, I kind of don't want to score too quickly here. But I, I, I can't get too cute with it. Second and, second and three. And Bryce Young with the with the touchdown keeper. And that's a big play for, for the Panthers. And wow, what a sequence of events. Interception, fumble, fumble, interception. I don't know if that was the actual order of things. But um, for us to be tied in this game after pretty much struggling in this half, uh, is saying something, man. It's a new. It's a second chance. Uh, what do you call that? Second wind. I don't know. The second life. Nine lives. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I guess I'm saying it's a second chance. They have should have been probably out of this game with the two interceptions that we had and um, the fumbles actually came through for us. It's time we actually get a breakup. Let's go, JC. About time. Second and ten. Another big hit, but this time he holds on to it. Hey, Godwin gets the catch and Matt Ryan moving the ball down the field. Pass the ball quick. And this uh, offense may be too much for us. We'll go with. 
First and 10 on the 47. Burns trying to get in there. And what a catch by the tight end, covered by look like two defenders. And still able to get the catch. Third and inches on this play. They're gonna call timeout, and I think I think they're gonna pass it. I don't think they're gonna run it. Uh, but they came out with uh came out with a run situation formation oh we call timeout they try to catch us slipping <laughs> they try to catch us slipping on that no i don't want you to catch me slipping with the uh with the audible there They're going to pass it. And the play is broken up. Fourth and inches. And what are they going to do here? They, they are looking to run this ball. They do get it. Ender Ash. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. Matt Ryan has nowhere to go and throws the ball away. So second and ten. I feel very nervous about what's going to happen. I think they're going to find someone. In fact. All right, we'll take that third and six. Mm. And that's a big play for us, for the Panthers. Fourth and seven, we'll call timeout now. And they're gonna kick the field goal and go up potentially 10 to 3 10 to 7 at the end of this first half kick is up and it is no good it hits the bottom of the bar and bounces back out what wow okay so we have an opportunity now we've got one timeout left 30 seconds Throws over the middle to Blackshear. We gotta call timeout. Have to call timeout. Need something going. Need something going out of bounds. Or something to the sidelines. Chark and Hurst. They call a, fu a fumble and he's out of bounds. Wow. Quarterback fumbles the ball. Tampa Bay has one timeout. They can get a big play here. But they don't. So seven seconds left. Are they going to go for a field goal? We're going to play up. Uh, 
And that's going to be the end of the first half. And so many. Oh, no, no, not the end of the first half yet. Got two seconds left. They call timeout. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute before I play the music. Oh, they are going to go for it. So this is a 58. Kick is up. And it's no good. And that will be the end of the first half. And man, that's a full game right there. We have missed field goals, fumbles, interceptions. I think there's six interceptions already in this game so far. What a game. It is a battle. All right, let's take a look around the league, see what we got happening. All right, Atlanta. We're low. We need Atlanta to take an L here. Atlanta is tied with Arizona. Come on, Arizona. You can beat them. Corderell Patterson has returned, and that has pretty much moved them forward. Baltimore and Pittsburgh played both of these teams earlier this season. Pittsburgh with the lead in the first half. Kyle Pickett with two touchdown catches, uh, touchdown throws in that game. New England, New Orleans is losing as well. Rooting for the Eagles in that game. If the Saints and the and the Hawks can lose, uh, if the Saints and the Falcons can lose, um, we might have a chance. But we we have to win. We have to win. We're gonna set the run focus. Continue to defend the short pass. All right, we got to kick the ball off. Score is tied seven to seven, though, and which pretty much means zero to zero, as far as I'm concerned. And it's who can have the best, the best half. Let's see. Oh, almost got free there. Got to get to the 25 yard line. Matt Ryan, who's been excellent for them for the most part. Uh, was not able to get anything going at the end of the half, but there's no reason to believe he won't be tough to deal with. There he is with another short pass, and continuing to pick apart the defense. Big tap! Oh. Fournette breaks the tackle. Would have been down, but breaks off the tackle and gets the first down. So first and 10 on the 42. Oh, Fournette escapes. Barely a lot of tackles right there. Oh, nice play. Chris Godwin's going deep, and he gets the touchdown. What a nice pass by Matt Ryan. Oh, I thought maybe we had the interception, but the ball. Look, and Horn just gets beat again. Oh, man. And our players collide with each other. And once Godwin is, once he's got a head of steam, man, you're not going to catch him from behind. Bucks take the lead, 14 to seven. And let's see if this uh, Panther team can come out and match that offensive energy. Calais couldn't break. Ah, couldn't break free. Had 27. Oh, guys, got us to the 27 yard line, but. Didn't quite get it. First and 10 on the 27. Blackshear with another nice run. He gets nine yards on that play. Second and one. And we just want to get the first down here. No rush on this offense. Blackshear gets free. Gets the first down. Nice play. 
Williams. It's a first down. Second and one is all coming back. Come on, come back to him one more time. Blackshear with another big play gets uh, it's another nice game there. All right, so it's second and six. Might look to Mingo on this play. Maybe Blackshear. Find our guy on the left side, on the right side, the tight end Hayden Hurst. Looking for Blackshear here. Nice. Oh, I thought he had the catch. Fourth and three. Ooh, this is a tough call. Down a touchdown, not playing well. Come back here. Blackshear with the catch. It's time we had to get him, maybe get there a little bit earlier than we would normally do. And that's a nice play. Nice play. Oh, we had Thielen over on the left. Did we have him on the left? Was he wide open? We maybe. Oh, we actually he was wide open early. I threw it to him late. All right, let's get out of the. Uh, All right, so second and 10 on the 43-yard line. Pass over the middle to DJ Chark with the catch, and that puts the Panthers on the 22-yard line. And this may be the kind of thing that we need. We want to try to push Thielen on the left. Let's see if we can get something there. That's a first down for Bryce Young. And he gets the first down, his first and 10 on the nine yard line. Good run by the quarterback. I'm gonna call a run play here. Blackshear gets close, gets to the two yard line. And we're gonna try. See if we can get him in there. Second and goal on the two yard line. See if we can get a push. And he is in the end zone. Touchdown Carolina. And the game is tied pending the extra point. Raheem Blackshear finds two yards and gets into the end zone. Good run and just powers forward to get that's a one, two, three, four, Tampa Bay Bucks. Who said he wasn't a power back? And he's not. He's a elusive back. I don't know what his break, what his strength is. I have to look at him. He looks pretty strong right there, though. And that's a big, big drive for the Panthers. And we need a turnover. We had a couple in the first quarter, first half. We need to make a stop. Turnover on downs. We'll take the punt. Get an interception. Can't allow Chris Godwin to do that, though. He's got his 104 yards up for the day. Who's on him? Henderson is on. 
it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, that means his quarterback is really feeling good. I win. Let's see. I wonder, should we, uh, should we do that by our overall? Put our best guy on, on him. Chris Godwin. Nice run. Nice draw play by the, by the Bucks. Leonard Fournette has plenty of room to make the, uh, to make the first down run. And so now that's first and 10 on the 33. Panthers having a hard time getting the Bucks off of the field. They try to run it, and this time the Bucks are there. No, no gain. Fournette with the catch, and Fournette is just tough to bring down. This would be a huge stop for. That's the end of the third quarter. So it's third. It's uh, tied up 14 to 14. Third down for Tampa Bay on the 41. They've got third and two. Third and two. So we're going to try this play the offense on third down two for five to this point here it's third and two i would bring the cornerbacks down but they they do dumb things sometimes when you do that and the ball is thrown away matt ryan wasn't sure where to go and so we are going to get an opportunity to take the lead here 14 to 14 the defense able to force a punt Uh-oh, Calais may have room. Can he? Ah! <laughs> hey, let's get out of bounds. Nice return by the backup running back. This return, God, I can't call him a specialist yet, but nice play. First and 10 on the 47. He gives us good field goal, good field position. Can we can we can we do a play on the outside? Do we have a do we have the blocks for the outside? Come on, Thielen. I need a block on the second level. There it is. Oh, and he trips him up when he gets third and inches. And it's been a big rushing day. I think as far as yard as far as plays are concerned. I think we've called more more Russian plays. Blackshear gets the first down. He's got 94 yards today. He's been playing well. Last year with another big game. He's got 106. Nice run. Nice. That is a nice run by that young man. All right, so let's go here. Might be to get Chalk on the in for the touchdown or Thielen. Maybe. Don't fumble it. Ah, it's always scary to let the quarterback get hit. All right. Second and one. Bryce Young runs the ball himself, and we're going to go with the big guy here just to get the one yard. And we do get the one. And Eric Salberg is not going to be with this team next year. He has decided not to renew his contract. And uh, so we're going to be without him going forward. 
kind of a I enjoy playing with him maybe we'll see maybe he'll test maybe he'll test free agency and find that it's not as friendly as he thought maybe he'll end up coming back I'll sign him if he wants to come back um all right second to go on the 17 after the sack Catch. Let's go. Adam Thielen once again. Third and goal. This is a very important down. We're going to go with the slant. It was intercepted last time we threw it. Last time we caught it. Oh, he's out of bounds. We got to kick the field goal. Can't leave the points on the field. Gosh. Look at this play. This could be the play that does us in. Okay, so I was afraid to throw anything in here. So we come, we flush out, and once we get flushed out here, he's open. Also, this dude's open the whole time. How did I miss him? Freaking tight end. Maybe he's not open. But Mingo is right here, and he can't. There's the catch. And he doesn't get his feet in. Can't get his feet in. He should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play to shred the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance of the ball game. All right, so it's the Panthers defense that's got to come up one more time. It's Ben Don't Break. It's probably going to be Ben Don't Break. And what if this game goes to another overtime? That would be something. 17 to 14. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. The run is stopped for only two yards. We're going to come back to the same play. Now we probably shouldn't. Looking for the run again, and they get three yards on that play. So third and five. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get this stop. Let's get the stop, ladies. Brown. No, we do not get the stop. And Chris Godwin with the catch. Short pass. Gets it done. We need a sack here. Come on, Jackson. Get in there. Oh. Come on, Shaquille Griffin. We need that. We need that. All right. So a second and 10 on the 42. Defense changes up. I mean, uh, offense changes up. And Matt Ryan has nowhere to go, and the defense gets in for the sack. Third and 20. And this is going to be a huge play here. If we can get the stop here, then we would be in a great position to seal this game. Tampa Bay Buck fans, the stadium is quiet as we get to this two-minute warning. And the question is, do we want to pressure or not? I want to pressure. We don't want him to have a ton of time. So we're coming in with the pressure. And we do get the pressure. Matt Ryan not able to get the, get the throw off. Uh, and that is a huge play by the defense. Let's go. Oh, and they want to go for it. I think that's right. They, they have to go for it. We're coming one more time. One more time with the pressure. Come on, Jack Henderson. Henderson's going to be the guy this time. They are flipping the play. Jackson has nowhere to, 
and Matt Ryan doesn't even give anyone a chance. Come, just throws the ball away. And if you are a Tampa Bay Buccaneer, that is the last thing you want on a fourth down is a throw the ball away situation. It's not over yet, though. We've got to seal the deal. One minute, 51 seconds on the 33. Blackshear has room. And he gets the first down. Nice play. And the Bucks have to be careful here. We're going to uh, two clock. And Raheem has, has uh, given the ball away a couple of times this season in key moments. And there he is, another run up the middle and a timeout by Tampa Bay. One minute, 41 seconds left in the game. Panthers up 17. Bucks with 14 points. Second and three on the 13-yard line. Panthers looking for three yards. Don't find it. Levante David comes up and makes a big play. Third and four. Looking for Mingo on the out route. Maybe Chark. Oh, and Levante David is there. And did we have Chark? We may have had Chark. No, we didn't have Chark. Uh, we didn't have anybody. Nobody's open. No one is open. I don't have to rush, though. I probably could have. I may have been able to run it myself. Uh, but we are going to kick the field goal and the game is not over ladies and gentlemen they manage the timeouts we go up by six so they have to score a touchdown here and the bucks can score they have a great offense they don't have timeouts they don't have timeouts so we're going to try to kick this ball keep it in the field a play. Oh, still going to get that touchback. So it's uh, 90 seconds left in the game, and all the Panthers have to do is keep. Keep Tampa Bay from scoring a touchdown. And they throw it short. We're going to play back a little bit. Where are you going? Horn? Keeping them inbounds. It doesn't matter. They 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 have to score a touchdown. We are getting all kind of plays right over the middle. I had to call timeout because they're getting these plays right over the middle. Oh, he overthrows him. He did have him. Yikes. Seven seconds in this game. 16 yard line. This is dangerously close. And we just need a tackle here. And that's going to do it. The Panthers get the W against the rival Tampa Bay Bucks. What a game today. And man, if they had just a little more time, I'm afraid they would have scored a touchdown. We were not doing what we needed to do to keep them down. But we did it. We did it. We got the W. 
Tampa Bay falls. The Panthers get another win, our eighth win of the season, and that puts us at 500. I believe that they, that makes us eight and eight. I think that's going to make Tampa Bay eight and eight as well, if I'm not mistaken. We'll see here in just a minute. But what a game. Lots of business. Lots of business happening in this game. Fumbles, interceptions, key moments. Bryce Young, 14 for 20. He had to stop throwing the ball with him. Only 177 yards with two interceptions. Um, had a tough game today, but Blackshear held it down for us. 19 carries, 124 total yards, one touchdown. But he was he was the man, man. He put it together for us. Bryce ended up with a few runs as well. But Blackshear with a total of 170-something yards, five catches, as well as uh, over 100 yards rushing. Thielen, as always, playing well, uh, but no passing touchdowns today. No passing touchdowns today. Jeremy Chin with nine tackles. Xavier Woods with eight. I believe it was Woods that got the fumble force. Yes, we it was. He got the fumble force with two fumble forces. Huge in the first half for both of those plays. Uh, Tremaine Edmonds is in the house. Shaquille Griffin, we're going to see. He may not be the best guy again for this team. I'm still not impressed with what he's doing. And, um, yeah. But, man, good game, good win. Um, I want to say it was a lucky win. With, with all the fumbles and all of that, uh, kind of a lucky win. But Leighton Vanderesh gets a little love. Uh, I think we're going to the with Leighton will continue with the pass coverage. We're going to see if he stays with us as well. Derek Brown, I definitely want to stay. One of our better defensive tackles. Actually, our best defensive tackle. Rivalry rematch. We did have the scenario. Looks like they know how it felt the first time around. Yeah, we just needed to beat them. Let's see what the, what the reward is going to be for our team. Best serve cold, getting revenge on the Bucks has the team fired up, plus 10 morale for the entire team. Entire team gets 2,500 XP. Nice. Very nice. All right, so let's advance the week. And let's take a look down in that bottom right-hand corner for our division. Okay, so we are eight and eight. The Saints are nine and seven. So if we, so the Saint, I think the Saints lost last game. So if we, and we're up against the Saints. So if we beat the Saints, uh, we might have a chance to be in the playoffs. Yes, the Saints are in the playoffs. Look at them. And so if we get the W here, if we get the W here, we might get into the wild card. We could be that team. I don't know the math. I just see that the Saints are there. And if we beat the Saints and we have the same record as them, uh, I don't know what the tiebreakers are, but there's a shot. What a, wow. What a, what a setup for the next game. Mm. We know the New Orleans Saints, a strong uh, defensive team, also a strong offensive team. The team that at the beginning of the season we thought would be the best team in our division and the team that we thought we would certainly uh, continue to lose to. Derek Carr has played well this season. Alvin Kamara and Jamal Williams, both very good. Um, of course, Michael Thomas and Alave, very good. And then you've got, you know, you, you've, you've got really, really a tough team here. Um, Cameron Jordan is going to be tough. Uh, Al Woods is going to be tough in the middle. You got, yeah, this guy here, Demario Davis, in the middle as well. And then you've got Marshawn Lattimore. And then I think they got pretty yeah, about to say Tyron Matthew, Marcus May. So we, we're, we're not going to be able to pass the ball. I mean, it doesn't seem like we're going to be able to pass the ball, at least not down there. So there's got to be short passes or it's got to be run game. Luckily, our run game is starting to come along. Um, let's take a look at what 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 kind of uh, statistics the runner. Uh, let's see what's he doing over here. Okay, so Blackshear has 798 yards 
kind of took over in the middle of the season and uh that's not bad for one for one he's not going to get <laughs> he's not going to get to that uh to a thousand yards but uh that's not bad for when he took over so he's going to be um solid mm. a potential playoff playoff run who knew that we have an opportunity with this game make sure you like and subscribe thanks for hanging out with us like this video subscribe to the channel let's see if we can get into the playoffs and who knows miracles can happen miracles can happen all right y'all this is past this game too have a good rest of the day god loves you and so do i and i will see you when i see you peace